Here is Peter Siddle. First ball of the day. It's down the league side to Ryan Hackney, who slashed away by Hackney. Beautiful shot down to the third man rope for four. So the first boundary of the morning, first boundary of Ryan Hackney's innings. He's off and running and goes along to seven. And Oh, this is going to be out. Caught behind is the call. Hackney, I don't know if he's overly pleased about the decision. It's going to be interesting to... Second test match. Bird in, and Patterson has dri driven this one beautifully out through uh, extra cover, cover point. And it's racing along the carpet, and it'll reach the rope for four. So that's going to be a real confidence boost for the blue skipper. Three of the top order blues. Pitches up, and he might have Patterson here. He does. Patterson departs. A beautiful delivery by Rainbird. Angling away, and it induced the edge of the New South Wales captain, who's... Rainbird pitches up, he gets a little tickle on this Jilks, down to the rope for four. And fine leg. And it will go between the two of them for oh, four. Beautifully played. <laughs> yeah, perfectly played by Jilks. And short outside the off stump and flayed away for four down to backward point by Jilks. It's just those footmarks. Edged by Sanger but just wider Webster. And it's racing away down to third man, it'll go for four. Pulled away by Jilks, out through square leg for four. Magnificent shot again, he's played some beauties this morning. And that's up there with them, just rocked back and managed to pivot around. And that brings up a fine 50 for Jilks. This one launched over mid-wicket, great shot by Matt Jilks. Down to the boundary in front of the Brewongul stand for four. He's now driving elegantly out through extra cover. Makes that back-to-back -back boundaries. This is a wonderful innings from Matt Jilks. A hundred to his name. We're not going to be talking about the... Oh, he advances and he's been bold. Maybe we will talk about... <laughs> you put the mocker on him, Gabby. Advances to Andrews. Tries to hit him back over his head. Plenty of air. Drives up Ishley, but a well away from the field. It was a beautiful shot for four. That's the Jack Edwards that we know. Edwards driving beautifully. Wonderful on drive. He looks in sublime touch. Jack Edwards... That is one of the shots of the day so far. Andrews in the air, oh, straight it. to cover. The plan has worked. And Edwards goes for 18. How satisfying for Andrews. Siddle into Sanger. Short ball pulled away. Up in the air, just short of the fielder. And it's gone for four as well. And again, down the wicket comes Sanger. And hits him high. Over mid on for four. I don't even make a coffee. Oh, well, I'll give it a go. Uh, here's Sanger hitting again powerfully down the ground. That might even have got a bit more on it. Uh, still, four is the result. So Sanger moves to 50 with that powerful blow. And the four in this over earlier as well. 50, 50,000. Sweeps this one around the corner. It's a beautiful shot from Jason Sanger. It's going to beat everyone out there. And despite a bit of a gallant chase by Sam Rainbird, who's probably feeling a little bit weary... Radhakrishnan. It's oh. hit up in the air oh. and just clears mid on. Neville's. Oh, he got out like that, didn't he, in the first innings? And he's. Radhakrishnan in again, and that's swung away with more conviction this time by Peter Neville. And that's out towards mid wicket for four more. Webster in, edged straight to slip. And Neville goes for 18. That rather looped up at the slip fielder. Bird into Kerr, he's hit it straight up in the air, Bird is underneath it, is he going to claim the return catch, he is with some comfort, and <laughs> Kerr goes for 15, and New South Wales lose another, there's six for 198, Webster in, flicked away fine, down towards fine leg, test for the fielder and he won't get there, four runs. The inaugural tournament in 2008, flicked away into the onside, that'll probably go for four, out in front of the ladies pavilion, it does. That's edged and got. Copeland has to go for six. Good diving catch. And has he gone there? He has. Oh, yeah. oh. Sanger goes for 75. He's not a happy chappy, but he's going to have to make his way back to the pavilion. Bo Webster is into Tremaine, who's trying to smash it away, and it's just clipped his leg stump and his bowl. So Tremaine has to go for a couple with a big Webster again well, Conway <laughs> slashes away good shot down to third man and he'll pick up four over the head of Ward 
This time he has a is big swing. There's an appeal for a stumping, stumping. which is also not out. Oh, is it out? Or is it out? Is, I might have bowled him. Did it bowl him? Well, then why did the keeper appeal for a stumping? <laughs> anyway, well, Sanger's walking off. Well, before Henry Sanger walked off, Harry Conway walk, was walking off. Come back to that in a second. First ball of the innings. Trent Copeland is in. Good shot first up from Tim Ward. Well, though, Antigua was quite flat out of all of the pitches. Tremaine into Jewel. That's Big appeal for LBW. Given. Given. He's gone for a duck. Second ball. And the first wicket falls in the fourth over. Tremaine claims the wicket of Jewel. Copeland into Ward, who slashes at that through the offside. That's a beautiful shot. All on the ground for four. And he's hitting away into the offside. And there's no run. So a maiden to complete the day's play. Plenty going on today here at the SCG. With New South Wales declaring their second innings. Nine down for 226. Setting Tasmania a total of 290 to win. And they finish the day on one for 19. That wicket, that of Caleb Jewell, 